So a lot of times you'll find cabins out in the Alaska bush. A lot of times they're open. In case uh, you're out here in the winter or sometime and you need a you need a place to stay. So let's go check this thing out, see if it's open. Ugh. Come on, Daisy. Ooh, sketchy foundation. Ooh, lots of squirrels, Maisie. Okay, let's see if it's open. Bingo. Huh. That's kind of cool. This is typical where it's just a bare bones cabin in here and, and it'll be open. Oh, there's a note and some stuff. Hi, I am Rod. Thank God, Abba. Abba, your cabin was open. It was midnight. My car broke down at about half a mile up the hill. I had a big hold. It broke my transmission. Get down, Maze. She's like, what's the view look like? Uh, Liv started to walk up the hill when I, I don't know, it started raining and I stayed two hours. I am your neighbor, Rodney F. Murray. Ha, huh, that's cool. And looks like he left some goodies for the owner. Oh, well, that is cool. Very cool. Look at this view. That's that's quite the view, man. I'm gonna sit at this table for a while, but very typical, just basic cabin. Open and you know, you just you don't take anything out of it, and if you can leave something behind, that's wonderful. But if it saves your life, totally a bonus. What a view here, man. It's awesome. Nice. Onward we go. So I'm just going to uh, head down the mountain here. Just check it out. It's just begging to be to be wandered and explored. So let's go. You think, Daisy? Let's go. Come on. Oh man, it's awesome. This is like so spongy. <laughs> Boomer's having a ball. <laughs> Goofy dog. Oh my gosh, this place. Too much smell in this area. It's all Labrador tea. Yeah. We need to make some tea. Look at the view. What are you doing, Boomer? Let's go. Let's go. need to buy any insulation. We need to just come down here and get a bunch of this stuff. I know. This stuff is awesome. One of the most amazing things you can do in the mountains where there's moss like this is just prance, leap through it. It's so spongy. It's like, it's like two feet thick of moss. So it's just like you're on the moon and you run through it. It's fun. We found a doggie. Come here, puppies. 
with your thirsty girls and boys? Um, I see what you all done. How about this whole trip up here? Let's see. I need a drink too. Okay. Everywhere. Hello. Hello, Boomer. Let him drink, Daisy. Let him drink. Oh man, this feels so weird. It's like a motor. Isn't this awesome up here? Yes, sir. I want to run down to the road. I do too. The road's that way. I see, Mom. No, you don't see it from here. Oh, it's okay, baby. Just rest. Ooh, it's draining over there. Man, you could sit here and glass for moose. Lots of good spots. This is why you wander. This is why you come adventuring. To get a view like this is pretty amazing. It's right out my back door. Can't take it up for granted ever. And I get to share it with you. Let's go. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> nice. Almost, uh, it's about 10 o'clock at night. You wouldn't know it. Land of the midnight sun. And uh, we're just a couple days from solstice here. Uh, this next weekend is solstice up here, so all this sunlight, man, it just gives you energy. But what goes down must go up. Come on, puppies. We'll make it back to the top. We will. We Maybe. will. Maybe. Someday. Hopefully. We are not alone. Giant moose poop. All right, we're just getting down off the mountain. We just, we just came up, went down, now we're back up. Now we're going back down to the homestead. And this is the very sad part of the trip where mother has to hike down the mountain while the sun blazes a trail of glory on the mountain bike. Yeah, there he goes. Go get him, Daisy. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Until next time.